how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, although, not welcome back, because this is my new room in my flat. Exciting. <laughs> welcome. Would you like a cup of tea? So I moved in on Saturday. I got my keys on Friday. Um, and this is my own space. Like, layout-wise, it's a bit unusual, a bit quirky. My rooms are on different floors, which I have to lock and all this. And it's kind of an unusual setup for a flat, but it'll do me for now. And it's a start, and that's what I wanted. Yeah, I still haven't really, like, got my head around it yet. Like, it feels very odd, but, um, it's exciting and strange. <laughs> now living in a new town, um, I don't really know where anything is, to be honest with you. It's practically a city in comparison to what I'm used to, and um, very odd, very strange. Um, I can also walk to work, I can get up at a normal time for work every day, which is absolutely amazing, because I usually used to get up at 5.30 every day and walk to this train station, get a train, get a bus and everything, and now I can walk to work, which is just crazy. A big thank you to everybody on Instagram um, who have said congratulations and everything and wish me luck and everything like that. Um, yeah, really lovely of you, so thank you very much. I'm also now vegan, effectively, like I'm eating vegan all the time. Um, the reason that I didn't go vegan beforehand was because I lived at home uh, and I couldn't really cook all my meals myself and also trying to convince my family that it's a healthy and okay thing for me to do has been quite difficult and for those that aren't vegan it they do struggle to understand the reasons why you'd want to cut all animal products out of your your diet and everything and your life um but um yeah early days but um going well so far and it hasn't been that difficult of an adjustment um i've been vegetarian for three years so that part wasn't difficult at all um yeah so <laughs> Do you guys like my bedding as well? Um, you probably can't see too well, but it has it has plants on. I also have um, lots of uh, fairy lights all around my bed, which is pretty. Um, yeah, so if you would like a room tour of sorts, I could maybe do one at some point. My kitchen is also really cute. Um, yeah, like, it obviously isn't going to be like the dream home, but it is a start, and it's my space where I'm paying for it, and I feel very independent and my life doesn't really feel like my life at the moment it's really really odd also on the low waist front i'm doing pretty good and um, i found a lot of alternatives the one thing i'm not so keen on at the moment is the toothpaste that i've tried out by geo organics um it comes in a little a little um glass jar with a metal lid so it's 100 percent um low waste and reusable and everything um but the texture isn't really my cup of tea at all um, and it doesn't feel like toothpaste and I wasn't really expecting it to but it, it it's strange it's um gonna take some getting used to also finally started using the salt of the earth deodorant finally finished my um, faith in nature one but yeah that's the toothpaste it's really cute it comes with a little spatula it's cute um, I'm also just using up the remainders of this which I've had forever um, which is the body shop toner and um, yeah, this is my little sink which is really cute and comes in very handy, so hi. And I may try a different one, I've seen Truth Paste, so if anybody has tried um, different alternatives to regular toothpaste which are low waste, zero waste, you know, low impact etc, then do let me know. Hi, hello, good morning. Today is my first morning in my new home, um, my flat, which is exciting and very strange. <laughs> So um, yeah, my kitchen is obviously separate to this, this is my bedroom and um, yeah, I'm still unpacking. You can see all of this stuff that needs to find a home and um, yeah. Hi guys, oh the lighting is really good over here which is nice, makes a big change. Um, so today I've got a couple more bags of things to take to the charity shop, I'm going to go on and explore because I don't really know where anything is here to be honest, like I'm going to be doing a lot of Google Mapsing, um, but I wanted to briefly talk about, I tried the Geo Organics natural toothpaste, um, which basically is a paste with a little spatula and you put it on your brush and it comes in like a little glass jar with um, a metal lid, so it's 100% recyclable, reusable. Um, and yeah, completely natural. It was weird, I'm not keen on the taste, like it's going to take a lot of getting used to. It, I got the English peppermint flavour, um, and it just tastes like nothing like toothpaste, which 
I was kind of expecting but also it's gonna take a bit of getting used to so once I finish that which is gonna take me a while because you get a lot in the jar um, once I finish that I might try a different brand or a different flavor and um, they do spearmint but I thought peppermint would be more like toothpaste but yeah you never know but um, anyway, so I am going to go and make some lunch. Um, I've got loads of food in, which is exciting. I spent a lot of money on food shopping yesterday, which, hey, I had to do because I had nothing in. But um, yeah, there we go. I'm also trying to be vegan. I have completely vegan food upstairs, which is exciting. And um, I will keep you guys updated on how that's all going. So yeah, woo. Morning, guys. Look what came in the post. My Lou roll! <laughs> For those of you who uh, haven't heard of Who Gives a Crap, um, they help rebuild um, toilets across the road. Across the road? <laughs> across the world! <laughs> across the road! <laughs> across the world! Um, in places where they need them. And um, it's all made from recycled paper. Um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to get into this, so give me a second. They're so colourful! <laughs> Yay! This is gonna last me ages because I live by myself. Oh my god, they're so cute, look. And uh, you can basically reuse the wrapping for different things, so I might just save it and use it as wrapping paper and tissue paper. Um, but yeah, you get like, I think I have, is this 48 rolls? Oh my gosh, how exciting, guys, how exciting. Um, one thing which is really cool is at the weekend I went to Tesco and a lot of the things were still in plastic which is frustrating but I can go to my market on a Saturday now which have so much good choice for fruit and veg and I can take my bags with me and not have to buy anything in plastic which is really really cool so yeah that's exciting that's about it really from me um I hope you guys are all doing well let me know if you have any video requests or anything you'd like to see in particular and uh yeah, I shall see you guys again soon. Bye.